What Microsoft has, has tried to do with Windows 8 is to bridge the, the tablet, the touchscreen tablet world and the, the mouse-driven PC world. Uh, and the, the problem when you're using it is, is it's neither one nor the other. You're, 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 when you're looking for a PC-style experience, sometimes you're given the touchscreen interface. When you're looking for a tablet-type interface, sometimes it will throw up the, the PC-type interface. So most users have just found it really quite confusing and neither one thing nor the other. I noticed that the Financial Times is uh, quoting one analyst who says uh, Windows 8 is for Microsoft what new Coke was to Coca-Cola, a complete disaster. I mean, is, he, is that overstating things a little? Uh, perhaps. Um, I mean, Microsoft says that Windows 8 has sold at about the same pace as its predecessor, Windows 7, sold. Uh, so it, it's, it's still going out, it's, st it's still making money, but uh, Microsoft is still very dependent on it being sold on, on desktop PCs and, and laptops. And the big push that Microsoft said and the big publicity around Windows 8 was, you know, this is our future on the tablet, this is how we're going to compete with uh, Apple's iPad and, and, and other tablets. And so far its reception uh, on that area has been very lukewarm.